just wanted to pop on and say the the video that's coming up next is um, a, a short video on the most amazing creations that my husband has just been making in his little studio. Um, there will be a load of photos taken after the video um, that we managed to get when the sun was shining and they really show the um, the colours and the uh, the copper and all the different rainbow delights that came out on um, when the sun catches it so although my video I've tried to capture some of the or the best I could with the with the light that I had um, the sun has now properly come out and they are popping so there will be if anybody likes anything they see how, wait, stay to the end because there will be the photos that my husband's taken and they look amazing so um, yeah and if you're interested in anything drop me a line take care bye hi welcome to the mad witch cottage and today i'm sharing some more of the creations from my husband's uh, little studio where he's been busily uh, making some uh, copper uh, art. Um, this is one that isn't necessarily for sale. I'm going to show you what he's created and they will be going up on my Etsy shop. Um, but uh, I will get them up as quickly as I can if when you see any of these that you particularly like you can contact me and i will put my email address at the bottom of the of the info uh, so that you can actually um, uh, contact me in advance of etsy if you are particularly interested in in a piece all the pieces i'm going to show you are made from a, a flat copper which has been uh, treated, um, I think he called it flame painting. The the light today is not quite as good as I was hoping, but I can't sit on this for much longer. So this is a, a Glastonbury uh, picture, and the the light catches the sunlight when the, the when true sunlight catches these. There's all different colours that come out. Uh, some of them have been varnished to keep the colour. Uh, some of the backs have been left unvarnished, but you can see you get different colourations coming out. Um, and you could use these as pendants, but you can also use them um, to as charms to put on tarot bags or um, to, uh, you know, to hang on... Uh, maybe make into a bookmark perhaps or just um, you know put them on a bit of leather and I don't know add them to, to something you want to um, to charm up this is another of his these are he's been doing angel wings this is on a bit of leather um, again I'm not sure that I am getting I'd love to have tried to have done this perhaps outside, but um, weather's not been great. Um, this is a big, chunky piece. I mean, I've got small hands, but it's quite a weight as well. This is another one that he's, um, you know, uh, probably not going to put up straight away, but I've got loads to show you. But I just wanted to share with you some of the, the, the incredible things that are coming out of the Floki Craft Studio. So now I'm going to show you what is going to go up and these ones are um, uh, like I say all unique individual pieces. They're handcrafted and um, I will get them up eventually. It's quite a lot of it's quite time consuming putting these up. This is a beautiful leaf. See, to me, I, I probably wouldn't wear that as a pendant. I probably would actually um, get a little um, hook to put it on a tarot bag. I think um, that would be me, <laughs> just me. Um, and I probably uh, he does have alternative options, so you can have leather or he's got some waxed um, tw 
twine, I think it is. Um, and he could also, um, and I will suggest this to him, get some uh, different sort of clasps so that they can perhaps be used even as a key ring. Can you imagine as a key ring? That would be quite cool, actually. I quite like the idea of that. So don't be misled into thinking that these are, this is jewellery. I don't know how I list it on YouTube, but this is gorgeous. This is another one of his angel wings. I probably prefer this, actually. I want to try to do a comparison, but I love the colours in this. It's so vibrant with yellows and oranges. And um, some, some colours will change. I, I think he's still very much in the experimental stage but um wow <laughs> that's quite stunning and again i i think that this i i wouldn't mind that as a key key ring actually um i just love that i think it's quite exceptional so that will be going on the shop but if anybody is interested i named all the ones that i put up on the etsy shop um, but I don't think I can go to the same degree in naming all of his jewellery. Although part of me, the, the Virgo part of me, absolutely does want to. Here's another Glastonbury. He's been really loving. I think it's because we've got a Glastonbury uh, uh, event coming up. And um, it, you can see where it fits in my hand, obviously. That one's quite a bit bigger, but they're still big pieces. This is a bit lighter. I really love the way he's managed to capture the tour here. And then you've got a pathway. I'm hoping that I'm doing this justice. There's a path coming down. I, I and, and there's, a, you know, the moon or the sun up there. Absolutely lovely piece, but he hasn't varnished. I don't think the back of that one. And you can see and this is what I mean, this, this won't do it justice, but in sunlight you will see um, these colours really start to pop. Um, I think his, his idea was that he wanted um, to create kind of very hippie boho uh, things that you could wear on a, on, on a chain or on some leather. Um, or you could attach it to, you know, a bag. Uh, you know, you get these hippie vibes coming through with um, these big chunky pieces of jewellery. I, I used to wear quite a lot of chunky um, jewellery and I always feel very glasto when I'm wearing it. Glastonbury again. And again, these are so different that this has got so many colours in it. We have the tour, then we have this path coming down and the detail here in the sort of uh, hill top mound tour and this indented kind of moon sun and the back is really beautiful. The, the vibrance of these colours um, and obviously, it, you know, it can go, it could hook onto anything. I'm tempted to grab a couple of these for my bags, not just my tarot bags, actually. I've got a few quite nice um, quilted bags that I'm making for myself. Um, my daughter, one of my daughters, um, he gifted her a, a, a massive, beautiful heart. I think she showed it on her channel. And um, oh, it was just stunning. And she was so chuffed to have it. I was so um, touched by how much she loved it. So now we, we get on to hearts and this one again I'm trying desperately to get the colours to to uh, show up but it is it's really pretty. It's got purples and blues and green down here that I'm yeah there can you see? Um, it's really, it's hand beaten um, by him. I hear him out there, and but the back is just a nice. I mean, I say, I don't know. That feels like the front, but I could be wrong. Maybe this is. 
I think that's what makes this so lovely. These pieces, you know, it, you know, trying to decide what kind of prices to put them up, but you've got the material and the time and making them to, um, to, to be useful in either a pendant or in a charm. Um, so I've tried to set the price um, fairly, but they are all unique pieces and I hope that um, they will get a lot of love because I think he's so talented. And here we have a little flower, a little, it's almost like a poppy, isn't it? But not quite. Uh, again, I'm trying to get the colours to pop out of here. We've got this beautiful centre, which has been um, hammered. And that hammering gives it, makes me feel like it reminds me of a poppy. Um, but the, the, you, you've really got to stand and, and, and I can imagine if a young sort of uh, boho hippie girl's wearing this on a long chain and it will just catch the sunlight in such ways that it will just come alive, I think. And then you can see the hammering on the back. But I, that for me, it, you know, is would look so lovely as a pendant. And like I say, with the sunshine catching it, I think you'll really see the most amazing colours come out of that. Uh, and lastly, uh, like I say, I've got to get them up on the Etsy shop. But if anybody would like to inquire about them, um, feel free to contact me in advance uh, I love this I really love this I love spirals and this is no exception and although it's thinner there is still quite a lot of different colours uh, popping off of here and um, that again I think as a pendant is outstanding absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'd quite like that <laughs> Um, I love I love what he creates and that one is a bit of a favorite for me so um, like I said I will put them up um, and but it will take me a, a little while because it's very time-consuming putting these up um, as lovely as they are each one individually has to go up separately like with the ones but that was, yeah, that was, um, that was a, a lot of work for me. He, you know, it, he can also create something, don't forget, bespokely. So if you decide that you like something here, feel free to, um, to contact me and ask. Or if you've got something that you would like created, maybe. Um, copper is a beautiful metal to work with I think it, it's very um, it, it, it feels very much like nature in uh, Technicolor and in this day and age so much so many things are mass produced you know um, which is why the, the cost of making things sometimes really does out, outweigh uh, the whole idea of, of creating a shop. Um, the the, the wood-burned um, things that we've got up there are one-offs. They're handmade, individually hand-burnt. There's no um, big machinery, no mass production. Each are individual. And as such, um, you know, they can't be uh, justifiably sold cheaply. They have to be valued for what they are. And it's the same with all of the jewellery. Um, I, as I've said before, the shop will have some of my bits going up, but um, uh, I'm looking at just uh, carrying on for about another possible few months, maybe up to a year. But, you know, I'm not going to be held on to uh, a date on that. But it's very difficult to um, to make something that 
takes a lot of time and then find a good value for it. So I hope you like these pieces. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to all of, of you who've supported our little shop, who've bought, treasured and loved any of our creations, whether it's mine or my husband's. You are you are valued. We're just overjoyed that people love what we've created, what we're creating. And I'm so grateful to each and every person who's even just looked and followed our shop. Thank you, because um, this is a, a love and a passion and so much love and passion goes into what, what you receive. So thanks again. Take care. Bye.